Sprint by Fitch. This will be one of the last videos I make inside. We're in the Vendors area, 2010 Corvair Convention. <laughs> Best part of this car might have been the engine. John Fitch topped these up from 140 horsepower to possibly 170 horsepower, giving it more than one horsepower per cubic inch. The 1966 Fitch Sprint it was the last Sprint ever made, and it was John Fitch's personal driver up until 1969. It's a 66 Corsa, deluxe seat belts. The steering wheel will probably be updated, I suppose. Flash to pass, accessory gauges. It's been beautifully restored, and it's owned by the Corvair Preservation Foundation, I believe. I hope I get my facts right. It's got the hands, aluminum wheels. What a magnificent job has been performed in this car. What a great fixed sprint. It's documented to death. Photos appeared in many newspapers. John Fitch used to design all kinds of cars. The Fitch Phantom, the Fitch Firebirds, the Fitch Phoenix. Nineteen seventy-five. Barriers, crash safety barriers. The Phoenix by Fitch. Here's the Fitch Sprint. Certificate of title. John Fitch and Company. This vehicle was purchased from John Fitch and Company. Balls Village, Connecticut. Right next to Lime Rock Park. 1969 when he sold the car. Move on to something else. An ambitious man, an American hero. We interviewed him back at Lime Rock Park with the Fitch Phoenix. Signed by John Fitch with the 904 Sprint Ventop. Great car. Great show. Door panels. They brought one door panel to the show for the early models that I've noticed here. And this is my door panel for my 62 Spider convertible. We're at Clark's Corvair Parts at the Corvair Convention. They're wrapping things up. The door panels for your 66 Monza. Customized panels. Change of color. Change a few little odds and ends here. Car covers. Stickers. Decals. Decals. All kinds of stickers, convertible top samples, trunk mats, fuel lines, galvanized or maybe even stainless steel Corvair books. Boot covers, top boot covers, electronic ignition, mufflers, chrome extraction systems made just like in the 60s, starter noses, shock absorbers. Clark's Corvair has wonderful parts at the wonderful convention. If you've got a Corvair, you need to shop at Clark's Corvair parts. If you want dual exhaust in your 110 engine? No problem. They've got smaller U-pipes, turbo up pipes, down pipes, crossover pipes, heater hoses, steering box adapters from Flaming River, gaskets, samples, books. You've got to shop at Clark's because they've got all you need. Trunk pans, patch panels, 1960-style cylinders, Rear wheel bearings for early models, pistons, cast, forged, oil pan gaskets, pre-bent brake lines. Everything you need, bending is over, banquet's coming up. We're going to head off to the road course and watch some guys wipe out their cars. Foot to the floor, full throttle. You can get four pair of go-karts. Monza SS. <coughs> Having a great time. You know something about Nader? He was wrong. Clark's Corvair parts. Corvairs forever. Corvair models at the Corvair convention. It's the last day of vending. People are getting rid of their wares. Some had better days of sales, and some didn't buy too much junk. <laughs> you should have bought more. I'm telling you, I didn't buy a lot either. <laughs> I got a pocket full of money still. <laughs> oh, truck hubcaps and air drills, license plate frames and wire caps. Caveman grill bars and taillights for 65s and high performance Corvair valve covers. Oh, we got goodies here and I've been bad. I got a pocket full of money. They say a fool is money or soon tarnished. I guess I'm a smart guy. Yeah, I'm sure you could. 110 badges, 140 Corvair scripts, more carburetor 140, some truck license plate lamps. The 
the Corvair Convention. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Oh, things are good. Beautiful day outside.